On the way to the Meiji Shrine, we drove by the Yoyogi Park, located adjacent to the shrine. Dedicated to the Emperor Meiji, the father of modern Japan, the Meiji Shrine stands in a dense forest glade at the very heart of Tokyo. Its setting symbolizes the separation of the spiritual from the worldly. First, we stopped at the cleansing station, where you can dip into a communal water tank and purify your hands and mouth before offering up a prayer. At Shinto shrines, the Tori gates demarcate the divining line between profane and sacred spaces. These Tori gates, the largest in Japan, are made of cypress wood that is over 1,600 years old. Emperor Meiji passed away in 1912 and Empress Shoken in 1914. After their demise, people wished to commemorate their virtues and to venerate them forever. So they donated 100,000 trees from all over Japan and from overseas. And they worked voluntarily to create this forest. Thus, thanks to the sincere heart of the people, this shrine was established on November 1st, 1920. Preparing the stage for the Spring Grand Festival, held every year during Golden Week at this the biggest and most important shrine in Tokyo. The week-long festival features an impressive lineup of traditional performing arts presentations led by masters in the field. the story behind these camphor trees. Planted in 1920 at the time of the enshrinement of Meiji Jingu, they have grown under the protection of the deities to become huge and vivid and are considered to be sacred. Well known as Meoto Kusu or husband and wife, the coupled trees have become a symbol of happy marriage and harmonious life within the family. We were lucky to see first a bride and groom walking around the yard. And later, a traditional wedding procession through the courtyard. <laughs> 